everybody's out on their last laps uh, and I had to stay behind. My hand's a little small and you probably can't see it. Um, frustrating. I really want to ride more. We're in Moab and it is the perfect Moab day. Uh, so I'm a little frustrated, uh, but you know, falling's part of the game. Um, I just turned 40 years old and things do not heal as quickly as they do did when I did stupid things at 20. Uh, but I'm still doing the stupid things. <laughs> Uh, but it has been a, a fantastic day. It just it's it's a bummer to kind of end it with quite a bit of pain. Um, yeah, but uh, successful first day for those of you who are wondering how this is going. Uh, you know, I, I talk a lot about starting businesses on the Slow Guy and the Fast Ride podcast, and here I am starting a business, and it's terrifying. <laughs> but. Uh, the day we had today makes it so worth it uh, for the risk. I mean, to be making the decisions for yourself, to be uh, trying, you know, even if you fail, who cares? Uh, you gave it a go. And and I keep saying to my friends who are here helping me, I say, you know, spent a little bit of money and in the end, either I'll have a great title for mountain bike uh, content or I will have had a rad weekend in Moab with my friends and either way I win. So I think we've done a great job and I'm absolutely thrilled with the work that Mark has done uh, and all of my friends who've been testing bikes today, Brittany Jones, uh, Russell Ike, uh, Matt Hayes, uh, Mark Still, who's been doing all the video that you're gonna see. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm, I'm feeling pretty lucky.